Okay, so I'm going to run through uh, adjusting this to a 13 millimeter cut pile, a 15 millimeter cut pile, and I'm going to do loops at both those settings as well. And we will take a look when I'm done. But I'm not. I'm just going to demonstrate these changes. Um, and yeah. Uh, hopefully between these videos and everything else you can follow along. <laughs> um, okay. So right now it's on loop and I want to change it back to cut pile. Um, and I want to change it to 13 millimeters. Um, so first thing is to take out the loop pile head. Exactly like what we did before, but this time we're putting the scissors back in. Okay, so we're going to loosen that. And we're going to loosen this. And get the screw so I don't lose it. And the loop pile head is pretty easy to get out because it's just nice and straight. Ta -da. So we'll put that over there with the scissors and we'll bring the scissors back. Make sure the scissors are closed. Okay those in and whoops just going to put that screw back in to keep the scissors in place get it tight okay I'm gonna put the scissor opener back in but I'm not going to screw it down because we know that we're going to have to change it because we're going to change the pile height um, so we'll just leave it loose and then I'm going to put these pieces back the yarn guide the bar and this and we are literally back to cut pile which was super quick and easy that nice and tight. I just hold the yarn guide in the place that I want it as I tighten this so it doesn't fly around to the wrong spot. And okay, we should first move um, this to 13 millimeters. So before we moved it from 15 to 11 and now we're going to go to the middle. So if you remember for mine, the screw, the, the nut is very tight, so I have to take this screw all the way out. Whereas some machines you may not have to because the it, you might be able to just scoot it along um, without actually taking everything apart. And actually, I think I just did scooch that along to where I wanted it. Just trying to check. Yeah, I did. So, probably as I move this more in the channel, um, you know, they, everything becomes a little bit looser. So that's probably why that allowed me to do that. Okay, I'm going to tighten it up. Now, I'm just going to check. I'm on the middle groove. And I'm just double checking that my washer isn't going to cause any issues. The other thing I need to do is loosen this so that we can get it into the right position. I'm just going to... 
Okay, so now that that's loose, we should be able to rotate to make sure. Yep, so now I can rotate the gun. So that means that um, this uh, yeah, it's I don't know what to call it. <laughs> the piece that this this screws into um, is flush, um, so it's not sticking up and causing any um, any problems. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my trusty sheet where I have. Um, figured out the where this piece should go and where this piece should go. Okay, so looking at my sheet that you guys will get with your gun, the um, the distance between here and this piece is fourteen point two. Yes, 14.2. So let's set this to 14. Right. It's pretty hard to get these exact. Okay, that's pretty close. Um, it's a bit tight right now. Just move it up. So that it's in the right spot. Take my littlest Allen key. Oops. Screw that into place. Just double check that it's nice and straight. That's not quite straight actually. Okay, so I just had to move the scissors out of the way because I couldn't get that piece to, to sit properly while it was touching the scissors. And that is, oops, sorry, <laughs> and that is working. Okay, so I know from my little sheet that this piece needs to be at, let's pull the scissors back, um, 2.6 millimeters above this. So that's a, not a very large amount at all. A little bit higher than that. piece gets pretty loose easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten it a little bit so that I can then sort of nudge it where I want it to go. Okay. Okay, so that's 5.2, so that's too high. Just give it a little loosen, push it down, tighten. I think that's going to be too low. 2.2, ah, just a little bit higher. Just a teensy bit higher. That should be good. point eight let's just double check that 2.7 so that's pretty close um, the way we'll know for sure is that if the scissors close so I've already made sure the scissors are opening fully so you can see them opened fully there I think and they close fully at the top. So we're all good and everything feels nice and smooth. So the last step 
again is this distance. And we are at 13. So this should be 13. So it's at 12 now. So we're going to have to just uh, inch it back a little bit. So if you remember, that's when we take this bottom piece off. So that we can get at that little screw. So loosen that. Pop that off. Loosen this little guy. And remember, not much, just a couple turns. Not even a couple turns, maybe like one turn, if you can get it to turn. Okay. You will get extras of this screw, so if you do strip it, um, you'll have an extra one. Okay, there we go. And we said it was at 12 and we wanted it at 13. So that means we want to knock it back a bit. And if you remember, I've got this little hammer. I'll measure again. It's at 13. So that is bang on. That's what we want. So I will tighten it up and give it a go. Just... Okay. Tighten this screw. I think we've got that now. Feels nice and tight. It's not going to loosen. Put the bar back on. Put this on. Again, tighten it up. Like so. And now we should be ready to make 13 millimeter cup pile.